Morning. So I've been a little bit busy. Um, at the weekend, I finished the hull, and you can see that's looking really beautiful. Um, the last coat of paint I put on it was a little bit, uh, should we say, thin, because I'm, I ran out of paint really. So I got two coats on it, but the last coat, because I think I was really trying to stretch it, it made it a little bit matter with the um, with the foam roller. But it, it's okay, it looks good. It looks really good and it looks nice and done. Um, and so I'm happy with that. This morning, uh, we've been sanding all the, uh, all the epoxy resin, resin bits that, you know, are a bit jagged and sharp. And as you can probably tell, there's a bit of a shine on the boat now. Uh, and I gave it its first, um, its first uh, varnishing. So I'm using this. Um, I've used the International Original for literally everything else I've, I've done, including my sea hopper down there. And also all my oars and my, whatever else is up there, paddles. I mean, everything, my motor pad. And I found it pretty good. It, it's been a bit soft on the motor pad. Um, the only bad thing about it was, unless you're in like 25 degrees sunny weather, it just takes, God, like days and days to dry. Um, those paddles actually up there, um, I remember the first time I, I varnished those, they took like three days. I was really worried and then stuck them out in the sun. It was a little bit wet as well, so the humidity was high. I stuck them out in the sun and they dried, they got hard, you know, in, in, quite quickly then. But yeah, I just didn't like that. So the compass is polyurethane. It's supposed to be, um, it's much faster drying. You can overcoat it in eight hours at 15 degrees, I believe. So I've been actually feeling this and it's actually dry in the places I started with here already. Um, so uh, that's quite hopeful. The temperature in here is, yeah, so we're about 15 degrees. The humidity is really good. And you can see I've done the whole boat apart from the floor, which just doesn't, it, it just doesn't need doing. And the other reason I've not done the floor is that it's got this kind of anti-slip coating on it. So um, I, di I didn't really want to mess around with that. Um, the only things I've done is where you can see little chips out the varnish there and over there. Um, let's give me a closer view of that. You know, I've, I've just touched those up just to seal the boat. So, really chuffed. Uh, I think this is gonna be really good. Um, everything's working out so far, touch wood. Um, and all I've got to do is this evening now, I've just got to get a second coat of varnish on. Shouldn't have to sand. And I'm hoping the third, and I'll do a three and I'll see where I get. Um, and then we will uh, see where we go. If there's time, possibly a fourth. Um, and I think that's all I need to do. Um, and we're ready to go, really. The only thing I will mention is these, um, the, the uh, oh, what are these called? Not the, I've been looking at strafing strips. That's why I'm getting confused, but the gunnels. Um, were a nightmare to do underneath. So there may be a little bit of overspill of varnish onto the paint there, but hey, it's all better protection, isn't it? So there we go. So that's all for today. Okie dokie, this is day three. Um, I've been a little bit busy this morning, so I've not been able to get a coat on first thing. So this is gonna be a one coat day. But the good news is, the, the varnish is definitely set, you know, it's not sticky at all. You know, yes, you can feel that. Oh, there's a little bit of a hair there. That's a shame. Okay, let's get that out. Yes, you can feel that sort of um, grippiness of it, which over time that will cure, but it's set. It's definitely, we're able to uh, get over there. Now, one problem I've got, and you might be able to see there's a slight, you know, you can see it's quite smooth there, but here you can still see the grain. And it's been um, terrifically difficult to apply by the brush. 
I don't know whether this is thicker or what, but I think today I'm going to try, uh, it might be that, either a, one of these rollers to roller it on and then brush, um, and then brush over it. I think spread, getting the varnish spread out has been really, really difficult, especially on these larger areas. You can see this side was a bit better, but not brilliantly. So, you know, again, functionally it's great, but you know, and I'm, I'm on these smaller bits, you know, it's been good, but that's the only thing I would say. So uh, I can't really see very well on these areas, but yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do coat number three, and we're gonna see if that will be enough. Otherwise, we might have to do another coat. So it's sort of the after, late afternoon, and this, this is dry. So, um, it's, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but you can see it's kind of matte there, and then there it's quite shiny. So it did it when I painted it with a brush, um, and so I rolled this one, um, and yeah, it seems to have done the same kind of finish. I mean, quite frankly, I quite like that matte finish, but I don't like the gloss and the matte. So obviously I'm missing a bit of, I don't know what I'm doing there. I think what I'm going to do is just roll her over this bit, you know, the little matte bits with, yeah, see there, I know I put a little bit more varnish on. So maybe I'm gonna just roll her over those matte bits. See this side, yeah, is way better. Um, I, I remember being a little bit more liberal on this side because it was the, yeah, was the last bit I did and I had a little bit of varnish left over. So I'm gonna be a little bit more liberal this side. Let's have a little look. Let's just tilt this camera, we might get a better, a better angle. And then actually the light on this camera is really good. And again, yeah, not brilliant shiny over there. And then again, it's a bit better over here. I mean, the good news is it feels thick. Yeah, I mean, because I remember the feel of this boat. And this varnish does feel like it's been varnished. So, yeah, I've got a little bit left varnish left. Maybe we need to do one last little bit over these bits here. Get all the, um, get all the, uh, little patches done and then I think we're going to call it a day for this boat. I'm also going to try this different roller. It's got a slightly better pile and it's a piled roller uh, opposed to a foam roller. Um, two reasons for that. I need that foam roller for tomorrow to paint the boat. And also I've had these for ages and I'm pretty sure you can varnish with them. So let's give it a go with this, see what happens. Day three, and it's morning time, it's about eight o'clock, and you can see we've finally got this sorted. There's still a little patch there. I mean, I was so liberal and careful with this roller, but you can see on the sides, on the gunnels here, gunwale, sorry, here, that looks really good. And I think this is as good as I'm gonna get it, to be honest with you. I mean, it's had three coats, some places four, uh, in fact, four coats, yeah, and then just on the inside, three, these places here. So, it's looking really shiny and really tough. I'm really chuffed with things. There's a tiny little bit of varnish raised off there, though, from before, which I must have missed. Everything's looking great. So, I think, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I think we'll get the boat down to the lake tomorrow. It's good enough, it's watertight, it's ready for the season. Um, and we will hopefully, if the black paint comes today, we'll get another coat of that on the hull. I don't know if you can see. I mean, it looks quite nice. It's just got that little, it was really shiny after the first coat. And then after that thinner second coat, it's just lost a little bit of its shininess. So it looked like a real yacht. It was amazing, you know, gel cut. I know a lot of people like, like the brushed effects on a wooden boat, but I, I don't actually. I like it lovely and smooth. 
um, as smoother the better for me. So, you know, and if I can make Mock Mocking D, you know, like a big yacht, look like a, a big yacht, then all the better as far as I'm concerned. So I'm really chuffed with everything. Um, all the repairs that have been done here, these are super solid. You know, you can even, you know, the, where I did a little bit of the taping repair, you can't hardly tell. And, you know, this is all looking really great. This front piece here was coming away. Um, you know, and again, over here, this is all solid as anything. So we'll see, we're gonna get some sailing, early sailing in this season. So, you know, she's gonna get put through her paces this year. Um, let's check there as well, you can see all this. It's really nice, really solid. On the front here, we've got a nice little bit of uh, protection here. I might try and find some rubber just to stick along the front here as well, because it doesn't have to take a pounding sometimes. Yeah, I'm so chuffed. Uh, I'm really excited for the season. We've also been painting this side. I just put a little bit of varnish on here. That looks okay. If I can get my older varnish, my original varnish, I'll do a little overcoat of that as well. But I don't think we need to really do much with these. Um, oh, let's just pop that back up there. And let's just have a little look at the gaff. Oh, we just got stuck. So let's have a little look at the gaff. And the gaff, I just put a, I just sanded it down very roughly and put a coat of varnish on here. And that's looking okay. Yeah, actually it's looking great. Again, I might want to put a little coat of varnish on that. I think we can wait though. I think now we've run out of time. If I don't get the boat down to the um, to the the sailing club kind of now, uh, we run the risk of losing our our spot. And I really love the spot we had. Um, the club was open at, uh, on the first, and it's now the third. So I want to get the boat down there and get our spot reserved. Um, you know, because it will make a massive difference to the videos and. Uh, <clears throat> and um, I just love it there. It's brilliant. I don't want to be, any, you know, up with all everybody else where, you know, I've got like people all around me while I'm trying to do videos. I, I like the, sec the secludedness of that area. So, yeah, we can, when the weather gets better, what we'll do, we'll give these a, a quick sand and we'll do them a, a quick varnish um, at the end of a, a, a day. But everything's looking great. I'm really chuffed. So, yeah. So, that's it. I think the next video I'm going to probably do is me taking the boat down to the lake, which is really exciting. <laughs>